Today, President Tinubu submitted a 27.5 trillion naira budget to the National Assembly for approval. Uh -huh. I no need to tell them I say they go approve that budget. In fact, that budget is coming, is is going to increase because the National Assembly they go part their own, they go add their own. So from that 27.5, we feel they get like 30 trillion naira. So I no need to tell on that one. Is is a settled matter already. I be no be so. Uh, na so we have a problem there. Nana say they are seeking for a fresh loan of 8.6 billion dollars and 100 million euro uh, uh, to use work for the nigerian people now loan after africa development bank oh, don't give them or say they go give them one billion dollars and the world bank say they go give 1.5 billion dollars all this money now loan no. <laughs> now loan we are good in collecting loan our uh, debt profile Keep going up every day, every day. Oh, oh, oh now they hear me. But it doesn't rub off on the standard or the quality of life of Nigerians. Now that one they bother me. Oh, oh, oh now they hear me. Uh -huh. <laughs> I beg for this presentation. I don't want to talk more because as I talk like this now, I don't the verse already. With all this money I come for now. It don't cost me to verse. Make a no go do anyhow. Converse for this presentation. When they hear me, my carry on and I go direct to a preacher of economy. <laughs> I want carry on and I go meet Rofa Yoseni, a Rice TV presenter. He get as he take preach this matter. On I go like him. Hmm? Uh -huh. Make could I help me listen to Rufa Yoseni as he take touch this borrowings that does not reflect on the lifestyle or the standard of life of the Nigerian people i be uh, yeah the nigerian people Mwano, help me watch this video this morning i'm going to say let's do this exercise together fellow nigerians watching <coughs> pick up a calculator whatever you might be this morning and calculate this 87 plus 26 87 trillion the debt we have on ground plus 26 the debt that is proposed that will borrow in the mid-term expenditure framework, 26 trillion, possibly 7 trillion. That gives you about 113 trillion. That's where we're still going with the borrowing. Let me also shock you. In the last 21 years, our debt profile increased by over 600%. I'll read a very exciting thing to you this morning. It might shock you. There is a news article from 31st of July 2021 in the cable. It says, from Obasanjo to Buhari, our federal government's debt provides such 685% to 26.9 trillion in 21 years. I'm sure if you remember, at some point we had our debt forgiven, largely by the Paris Club. When President Jonathan was leaving power, the debt stock was about 12 billion in dollar terms. Today surged to over 50 billion in dollar terms. That's the kind of country we've built. But in all of this, ask, what did President Buhari do with all the money he borrowed? I'm sure they will probably show you a real line. He battled to Lagos real line with all of his challenges and the train stopping in the middle of the road because of no diesel. Kaduna rail line that we couldn't put in security infrastructure and people were kidnapped and a doctor died and many other people died. I'm sure they'll show you rail lines. What else? They'll say roads. Lagos is about the expressway. Yeah. What else? They'll show you other infrastructure projects. How does this affect the people? What have we done with all the money we've borrowed? We've squandered riches. We've printed more money. We've borrowed. We've increased the debt stock at the detriment of Nigerian people. And that's why we're asking more questions from President Tinubu. What are you going to do with this money you want to borrow now? Yeah, you might claim it's been approved before. What are you going to do with it? Because the supplementary budget the other time was to buy luxury cars and a couple of other things. 
Don't we feel sad that a position like the wife of the president, we are buying luxury cars for her, is not stated in the constitution? Why do you need to do it? The president's wife said, oh, we are not coming here because we need your money. We are already rich before we came in here in the first place. They could have afforded their cars. Then we talked about the yachts. Then we all saw what happened. Now we're passing another loan. Is it after the state governors are spending billions of naira on frivolous activities and incurring more debt to the future generation yet unborn? Please humor me. If all these loans we take, if we can see the direct knock on investment on Nigerians, I will be the first one to say, borrow more. We're seeing what you're doing with the money. But we're spending it on frivolities. And we forget we have to pay back this money someday. And because of the law, we're having a knock-on effect on inflation. Most of the money we printed in ways and means. But remember the inflationary pressures all of that brought? We've not settled all of that. So now, even if we call for debt forgiveness, mm, no nation will take us seriously. Because when they forgave us our Paris Club debt, before you knew it, we borrowed all over again. And we are squandering our riches. We are not making enough revenue. We are incurring more debt. The budget, 27 trillion. The revenue projection. And it doesn't mean you are hitting that revenue. It doesn't mean you have. It's just a projection. You can fall far low. Project performance is about the 50-60% percentile. But what are we doing with the money? Nothing. We just squander it. And what we hear down the line are cases of corruption. Please, the National Assembly should save Nigeria. I know they say the National Assembly is rubber stamp. Scratch that. The National Assembly is copy and paste of the executive. It's obvious that anything the executive says, they just copy and they paste it. But at least, if it is the will of the Nigerian people that put you there, investigate and ask questions. But how will you ask questions of the National Assembly? You remember they approved the 160 million for your SUVs, isn't it? How would you ask questions? Because you're also in there as complicit while the people bleed. Have a conscience. You don't see him. Uh -huh. In 25 years, our debt profile rose by six. Above six hundred percent. You heard for that video. Uh, in twenty-five years, the thing climbed above six hundred percent. Money where will they owe? And we are still borrowing more. What are they hear me? This government where they came on board, they said a renewed hope. Now the hope be this now. You gave us a budget twenty-seven point five trillion naira, and your estimated um, revenue generation is eighteen trillion. Naira having a deficit of 9.1 trillion, 9 point something trillion naira. Oh, now they hear me. Make I no go quote which I know, but within that rate of 9 point something trillion naira. Uh -huh. And to cover up now, now borrowing on our own use, settle the matter. On I hear inside that video, say if you combine our debt profile before now, we be 87 point something trillion naira. You can't add them up with this one where they won't borrow now. What do you say? If you convert them to Naira, now 20, 23, uh -huh, 23 or 25 trillion Naira. If you add them together, where we there now? Now 113, 113 trillion Naira as debt. Where we go pay? Where the money they come from? Where is the revenue? <laughs> where is the revenue to pay this money? You know, receive where we go now. Uh -huh. 113 trillion Naira. If you add up this already one bro now, now where we did as at with this government, who go pay this money? To the how old are you? How old are you? So now what we now uh, the younger generation we will copy all this money. Who are the <laughs>
a majestic, robust and monolithic pickup truck designed to leave an indelible mark in the annals of automotive history. The Innocin Ijele is equipped with a powerful 3.0L turbo engine and 4WD to conquer any terrain with ease. Make way for the Innocin Ijele, Innocin vehicle, the pride of African roads. Nigeria is in a mess. Obeni, if you pray, pray well. <laughs> pray well, put your chaplet in water because where we are headed, now everybody they go there. But you depend, you say, people they put us for this position now. They don't go that alive to see where would they go? <laughs> when are they me? Because still, how old is it? Very soon, they go leave us come out. Who go pay 133? He's still going up. This is just the first time of this. He never reached one year away in the office. The thing don't move from 87 to 113. So, by the time he's done with eight years, where will go there? And how many trillions will go? <laughs> it's all right. Let me not talk too much. Uh -huh. We are all enjoying the government, right? I would enjoy them now. <laughs>